Hey guys, what is up? Goldglove here, and welcome back to another episode of the Goldie Chronicles, where uh, I kind of talk about my life, about what happened to me, my childhood, and uh, whatever I feel like was kind of interesting. Uh, it may not even be that interesting, but uh, a lot of you guys seem to enjoy these type of videos, so I am here to entertain you guys. That is the whole point. So, uh, the last video, I kind of talked a little bit more about my real dad, my real father, and uh, so what we're going to do is fast forward a couple years into uh, my uh, stepdad and my mom, you know, marrying each other and uh, having another kid, which is my little sister, and uh, kind of how our family went. So uh, we moved to a small town uh, up in the country, and we actually, uh, it was just the four of us. We had two dogs in a nice little house, uh, you know, nothing special. It was just, it was just, uh, you know, I was in like third grade, you know, yeah, I was in third grade at the time, so I was a little pipsqueak. And uh, everything just went smoothly for about um, three or four years. And then uh, everything kind of went downhill. My parents started arguing. There was a lot of problems. And uh, they ended up divorcing. Uh, my mom and myself and my sister ended up moving to a larger city, which is one of the largest cities uh, in Washington or in our state. Uh, so it was a big change for me. You know, I was, I was just about to go into middle school. I was about to be the oldest kid in, in my current school in my small town. I was about to be the highest grade in my school, and then when I moved, I, again, I was in the lowest grade. I was the youngest kid, one of the youngest kids in the school, and uh, so it, it was hard. I, you know, I moved to a, I moved to a huge city uh, where a lot of people were, and uh, I was kind of uh, overwhelmed at first. I didn't know what to do. Like, uh, you know, what do you do when you're in sixth or seventh grade? and you just you don't know anybody uh, I, I mean I understand that I think at a, a move in high school is a lot different than middle school in middle school uh, things are more awkward and more things things are more laid back people uh, don't care like I feel like there's not as many social cliques in middle school and uh, people are more I don't know I don't know the word for it but basically it's easier to make friends in middle school than it is high school and that and that's gonna be true for anywhere that you live uh, so in middle school, I really had no, I really had no problem uh, making friends. I actually had one of my friends from the last city I lived in. Uh, he actually moved to the same city around the same time as me, so that was actually good. I had one of my best friends there to uh, kind of help me out. And uh, in two or three years, I I started to get to know pretty much everyone at that school. Finally, had my good core group of friends. Uh, but during this time, I was a little shithead. Let me let me tell you why. Um, I didn't pay attention to school in school. Uh, I didn't focus on anything but just hanging out with my friends and doing whatever the hell I wanted. I, I didn't listen to my parents. Um, I was always getting into trouble. I was always doing something in school where I was getting suspended or I was getting detention or, or something. And you think, Gold Glove, you were in middle school. Like, what could you have done? Uh, I did a lot. I did so much that I probably shouldn't be talking about it because it's bad. It's just bad stuff. And I didn't, I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't, you know, I didn't do drugs in middle school. I promise. Um, but I just did stuff that shouldn't be, shouldn't have been done. Uh, I did a lot of bullying. I did a lot of teasing. And uh, you know, some of you guys actually asked me to make a, um, a bullying video. And uh, when I was in middle school, I, I wasn't a big kid at all. I'm still not very large. But um, yeah, you can take that multiple ways if you want. I know you're going to. Uh, but I was I was kind of small, but my best friend at the time was the biggest kid in school, so no one really fucked with me. No one had any desire to start anything with me because they knew that my best friend had my back, and uh, nobody wanted to fight him. Nobody wanted to have any type of engagement with him because he would have beat their ass. He was huge. Uh, so, and because, because me being me at the time, I knew that, and I took advantage of it. I treated people very poorly. I made fun of a lot of people for no reason, and I was just an all-around horrible person. Uh, and so, I got into a lot of trouble. I uh, wasn't a good kid, and I just, I just did things that I look back on now, and, and I just don't approve of. And I probably made a lot of f people feel bad about themselves, and, and that's not right of me. Um, I was the type of kid that literally would laugh at you if you were overweight. Um, I would make fun. I would make fun of you. I would, I would joke. I would tease you. Uh, that was the type of kid I was when I was in middle school, and now I look back on that, I'm like, what the fuck was wrong with me? Um, and I'm surprised, because my parents raised me to be a very respectful person, and to uh, treat people kindly, and I, I just wasn't. I think the reason, I, think the reason I, I became like that at the time was because um, I, I really didn't have any guidance in, in terms of my parents weren't really around, they were working. 
Um, I was always out with my friends who were who were not the best of people at the time. Uh, I was friends with people who just who just weren't very nice, and they they didn't say nice things, and they didn't think nicely about people. And so it wore off on me. I became a, I became just like them. I became kind of a bad person. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of how my middle school days went. Um, that and I think I had a new girlfriend every week. I don't know why. For whatever reason, uh, I thought that I was just hot shit and I could have a new girlfriend all the time. So that was me in terms of uh, I, was a, I was a man whore in a sense, it is, as far as a man whore can go in middle school. And uh, I, was, I was just a bully. I was just a mean ass kid. And uh, I, I, no one stood up, or you know, no one stood up to me. No one ever said anything to me because I had the biggest friend in school. So fast forward a little bit more. Uh, I ended up moving to another city, uh, which is about 15 minutes away from the other one. And uh, I, w I was right. I was actually just going about to go into high school, so I didn't know how to. You know, I couldn't drive. I couldn't go anywhere. So it was really hard for me to kind of hang out with my friends that were, you know, a little bit, you know, further away in the city that I had just lived in. Uh, mainly because I couldn't drive myself, uh, I, I needed to make new friends at this new school, and the reason I moved is actually for baseball at the time. My, my family wanted to uh, put me in a better school, uh, and a better baseball program, so that way I, I had a better chance of getting a scholarship or, you know, moving on to college for baseball. And so we went to this other school where uh, I met a lot of good people, a lot of friends that I still have to this day, and, uh, you know, I can go more in depth about that. But, uh, you know, it, it was a great move. And, I, and at the time, I was super upset about it. I was like, no, you're taking me away from my friends. You're taking me away from everybody that I enjoy being around. And uh, at the time, I was super furious. I couldn't, I could not, you know, accept it. I, I was pissed at my parents. And I eventually let it go. And uh, I actually met some of the best people that, I, you know, I, that I'm happy to have met. I, I can't, uh, you know, I, I can't hope that anything was different. Um, it was amazing, and, and I, I have some of the best friends. And, and the thing is now, I, I think that because I'm, I, you know, I made new friends, I moved, I met a whole new group of people, it actually changed uh, who I was. You know, I wasn't a good person. And uh, you know, being around good people, being around people who are genuine and, and kind-hearted and, and you know, trustworthy and respectful, you, they, they, you know, they just wash off on you, that you become that. And uh, so I feel like that is, you know, these are the people who have shaped who I am today, and I feel like I'm a better person because of it. So uh, I would not have changed anything. Uh, I'm super grateful that uh, my parents kind of uh, did that for me and then moved me to a better place. And uh, while there is people here that I do not approve of and, and that are still, uh, you know, not the type of people that I associate myself with, I think I did a good job in high school of kind of picking and choosing uh, who I wanted to be close friends with. I was never enemies in high, or I was never enemies with anyone in high school. I never hated anyone. I never got in any fights. Uh, I never bullied anyone. Uh, you know, I, I'm the type of guy that will tease somebody or, or make fun of them just, you know, just to, just to, you know, get their attention. You know, just to goof around. I'm not, I'm not there to insult anyone or to offend anyone. So, uh, you know, I'm the type of guy that'll, that'll joke around with you, but I don't mean it. You know, I'm, I'm that way now. But before I would have meant it because I was a dick. But now, uh, you know, things have changed. Uh, I'm a lot better of a person. I would assume, or I think so anyway, and I hope so. I don't know. Man, I could, I could be full of it. I could be an asshole. People call me an asshole. Uh, but I think, I think, uh, generally, I'm a pretty nice guy. Uh, definitely, definitely in comparison to how I used to be. So, anyways, this is just a quick little video. If you want to know more about my high school days or whatever else, uh, don't be afraid to ask me uh, some questions in the comment section. Uh, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. The likes do really help out my videos, guys. I hope you guys understand that. And if you don't like the video, you can dislike it. That's okay. Just let me know why you disliked it. And if you want to subscribe for future videos, if this is the first video you've ever seen of mine, I would greatly appreciate it. I've been Gold Glove. You guys have been my fucking awesome viewers. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.